guys, I'm glad you're all here. Thank you very much for joining me. Good news, asteroid 2023 BU safely passed by the Earth. It, it came closer than some of our satellites. It whipped over the southern tip of South America at 7.30 p.m. East Coast time, and they're saying it was the size of a small bus. It was only discovered, I believe, last Saturday, not even a week ago, by an amateur astronomer, by Gennady Borisov, who is in the occupied area of Ukraine, um, Crimea. Russia sees that area from Ukraine in 2014. Asteroid 2023 BU flew inside the world's telecommunications satellite area about 22,000 miles above us, or 36,000 kilometers. Luckily, it did not hit any of our satellites. I bet you Elon Musk would have been red-faced if it hit one of his Starlink satellites and was deflected to the Earth. But even if it was deflected to the Earth, it probably would have burned up as a airburst. For comparison, the famous Chelybinth meteor that entered Earth's atmosphere over southern Russia in 2013 was an object of nearly 20 meters or 66 feet. Uh, this object evidently was somewhere between 11 and a half to 28 feet across. Luckily too, the Chelybinsk meteor exploded, did an airburst in a remote location there in Russia. Um, but it did produce a large shockwave that in injured a lot of people, shattering a lot of windows on the ground. Scientists at NASA says that 2023 BU's orbit around the sun has been modified by its encounter with Earth. Our planet's gravity pulled it, and they have adjusted its path through space, and it's probably going to come again in little less than a year. 359 days it's going to make its approach again. This time they probably would be able to have enough time to test out asteroid deflections, um, seeing how it was less than a week that they were notified of this asteroid. They didn't have time to um, yeah, put together a crew of oil drillers or any other type of defense. NASA says that about 40% of the asteroids um, have that are a threat to Earth have been discovered. Well, they keep discovering more and more, so yeah, I bet you it's a lot lower than 40% that they found. So now that it's safely passed by Earth, we can go back to worrying about more serious things, such as the uh, frigate with the um, hypersonic missile off the east coast of the United States, which could produce a radioactive wave of over three miles. Or, uh, yeah, what's going on with Ukraine and Russia and China and Taiwan and Israel? Now that the U.S. has claimed that negotiations with Iran for nuclear weapons is dead, yeah, I wonder what Israel's going to do. Then we got the doomsday clock, which was moved ahead to 90 seconds to midnight. Uh, and they said it was mostly because of all the rhetoric, the threats of nuclear war from Russia. And then I believe about two days ago, a German ambassador uh, made a statement saying that we are, in fact, at war with Russia, uh, meaning NATO is at war with Russia. And the president of Ukraine has requested fighter jets, and I guess Poland is already sending them, um, saying that these planes are actually uh, for parts. Uh, well, if you break a fighter plane down, yeah, a wing could be a part, an engine could be a part. All its components are parts. So keep prepping. And if you're not prepping, if you're not stocking up on food and water and medical supplies, yeah, um, yeah, please start doing that. If anything, you beat inflation that's coming in the future. It is never too late to start prepping. So what are your thoughts? Please put those comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, check to see if you're still subscribed. Evidently, I heard that if you get three notifications 
of videos that were posted to your favorite channel and you don't respond, YouTube stops sending you uh, notifications. And their AI, for some reason, unsubscribes people. So, uh, yeah, make sure you still subscribe. Yeah, please stay safe. Thank you very much for your time and watching. I appreciate every one of you. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye. Thank you.